These are Montana State brand books, dating back more than 100 years. Each of them contains thousands of brand designs linked to the ranchers and producers who use them. And while the technology has changed a lot since that time, the Montana Department of Livestock still puts a lot of work into making sure that brand records are up to date. It's part of the culture of the state, right? Um, so I think you, uh, folks place a lot of value on brands, especially if they have brands that have been in the family a long time. It's a family heirloom and, and there's a lot of tradition there. The department just concluded its regular re-recording of brands. Every 10 years, producers are required to pay a fee and confirm their brand is still active. On January 1, 2021, the state had nearly 56,000 recorded brands. By the end of the year, the Department of Livestock had almost 48,000 of those re-recorded. That includes 3,000 brands that were transferred to new owners. They also processed about 1,000 new brands. The number of brands that re-recorded, I think, was pretty consistent to what we saw in 2011, so around 86%. Brands Enforcement Division Administrator Ethan Wilfor says it's important for the department to know which brands are and aren't still being used. In the state of Montana, that, that, is, the, that is the standard of ownership. If you re-recorded a brand in 2021, you should have received a new certificate in the mail. If you haven't, or if you're not sure if yours has been re-recorded, you can contact the Brands Enforcement Division. Anyone who had a brand that's now inactive has until April 1st to apply for it again, but as a new brand, though there's no guarantee it will be reissued. After that, the Department of Livestock will take applications from anyone for those inactive brands. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.